Good morning, Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. This isn't how I honestly expected to start my day, let alone my week. Right now, I'm on my way to my local urgent care to go get a test done for COVID-19, and that is because I was recently exposed to it. Now I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I'm honestly fine. I haven't developed any symptoms in the last week, but this is why you haven't seen any construction videos here on my channel. And that is because I've been quarantined away from the house and away from the guys. So hopefully if I did have it, wouldn't be able to spread it to them. But you might be asking, well, who did you get it from? I'm gonna explain that to you guys later. But in the meantime, enjoy these few clips of me FaceTiming the guys Letting them know, like, hey, I won't be around, so uh, construction's on you to get done. Which, genuinely, I do kind of feel bad about. Yo. Uh, Yo, what are you doing? Camera? How come the only time you FaceTime me is you got a camera in my face? So Yo, listen, I got some bad news. Forget about the camera. I got some bad news, though. Okay. Um, I was what exposed... Could possibly be bad news. I was exposed to COVID. You're not coming back. Well, I was gonna tell you, I'm not gonna be spending the next few nights at the house until like I get Where'd a test. You COVID? Uh, You've literally been home most of the time. I well, you know, like I have to like go back to my parents occasionally to go work and do stuff there. Um, I, yeah, but hey, that's not the point. Real quick, I just want to let you know. How do you know you didn't get it before though. I don't know. Maybe I got it from Miguel or what Tiffy. If I have COVID now. I don't know. That's why I'm just letting you know. But here's the thing, though, real quick. All right, Nick? Yeah, uh, yeah, what? I'm not going to be at the house the next few nights until I get a negative test. I'm going to be quarantined. So I can't do anything for the construction <laughs> series. Wait, until you get a negative test, so do you have COVID or do you not have COVID? Are you exposed to COVID? I was exposed to COVID, but I'm waiting to get a test in a few days. Okay. So, Are you showing symptoms? No, no symptoms right now. But here's the thing. I need you to... Uh, since you look like you're pretty much fine, continue doing stuff for the construction series. Oh, you're gonna tell me to construct stuff? Well, All at right. least make like a progress video. Anyway. Well, at least make make a progress video or something so that I can tell everybody to subscribe to Regenus. So then, dude, people are gonna be tweeting me and asking me like, yo, where where's the construction stuff? And then it's gonna go like two weeks without a video, you know? So I figured I'd at least yeah, have yeah. you post the update. I'll post the construction video. All right, cool. So but I have one thing to say to everyone. What's that? Subscribe to Regenis, and there's a PS5 giveaway at 50k, you know what I'm saying? Alright, uh, you know, I, you can say that because of what's going on, but um, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let everybody else know, though, that I've been exposed, so. Alright. Alright, bye, luck. man. Bye. Hey, Tippy. Oh my god! What? The camera on my face, I look so crusty. Yeah, no, alright. No, you look, you look fine today, Tippy, but besides that, uh, I got some bad news. What? I'm not going to be at the house for the next few days. I need a quarantine. I've been exposed to COVID. You call me for that? Yeah, I just want to let you know just in case. Well, just in case you've been yeah, exposed because I've like, been exposed. Okay. Alright, yeah. Yo, Migs. Yo! What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm not Dude, you don't run. Yes, I do. Since when? Since it got so nice out that it's running. It's literally running season. All right, it's well, jogging season right now. Well, speaking of running, uh, I got to run away from the rigid house for a bit. Why? Uh, I've been exposed to COVID, and I'm trying not to expose Wait, you guys well, to hold it. Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. What? i been exposed to COVID. You know that thing that's going around in the world right now? Swift. Yes. No, you haven't. Stop. I've been exposed to COVID, which I'm means I won't be at the house. I was talking to you the other day. Am I exposed to COVID? You possibly may have been, but Are I'm you, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be at the house because I'm just quarantining now. So I, I don't want you to get Does that sick mean I or. Have to quarantine now too? I don't think so. What the hell? You you're like second or third in the line, so you should be fine. You're joking. You're literally joking. No, it's I'm not. Season. Dude, I'm not. It's what? It's jogging season. You want me to stay indoors? You know what? No, 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 no. Like Miguel, the Miguel. Nice. Mix. Miguel, keep, Miguel, nice. keep, Just Miguel, keep. I, I get I'm it. Out. Miguel, I get it. Just keep jogging, though. And maybe, you know, you stay healthy enough. You'll be fine from COVID. How are you feeling? Do you have any symptoms? I got no symptoms right now, so I feel are fine. Are you kidding me? Swift, there's no way 
Sarah, you got exposed to COVID. Hey, listen, I tried all my I best can't not to be. To COVID right now. Why not? Well, I know. I have things to do. Like running? Yes, like jogging, waving at people. You see me? I just waved at that person. You, Miguel, Is why are you waving to, to strangers? Now? Is he exposed to COVID now? No, that's not how that works. Anyways, I just figured I'd be a good roommate and let you know that I've been exposed so I won't be at the house for some time. Okay. Alright? I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Just keep living your life, wear a mask, and be good, okay? Look, there's nobody around you. You're fine. Alright, Miguel, I I'm gonna let you go, okay? Huh? I'm I said I'm gonna let you go, okay? Bye. Okay. Alright, bye. Well, that is how I expected all of this to go. Here we are, my local urgent care. Drop a like on this video to wish me luck to pray that I am negative, that I do not have COVID-19 whatsoever. I mean, the worst case scenario is that I'm positive and that I've just been asymptomatic. But, you know, I'm just hoping for the best case that I'm not positive at all and I'm negative from it. After I leave urgent care, I'm going to tell you guys how I was exposed and who exposed me. And it wasn't just one person, it was two. And it was two people that I didn't think would actually expose me to this virus. But without a further ado, let's head on inside. They just took my nasal swab. All that's looking pretty good so far. Quick thing, you know, I might be a little overweight, but my health, for anybody that knows health numbers, um, that is actually pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I mean, I think I weigh right now 250, so I've been maintaining. But it's good to know that my blood pressure is 125 over 77. I'll update you guys in a minute on my results. I'm praying I'm negative. Like I said before, drop a like on this video. Um, I'd highly appreciate that. Drop a like to pray with me that I'm negative. But uh, I'll give you guys the results in a moment. Alright guys, I got some uh, positive news. And uh, first off, it's I'm not COVID positive. I actually tested negative. Thank God, I don't know how, because I've been around people that are COVID positive, so I'm counting my blessings once again that I am literally negative for COVID today. So thank you guys for everybody quickly dropping a like. I do appreciate that. But man, that is some good news right there. As you can see right there, negative. Let's go. That right there is a big one today. This time of the hour is so hard to try finding good sunlight right now for the camera. But uh, let's go home and I'm going to tell you guys how I got exposed and who exposed me. Not only the one person, but the second person. And uh, how somehow in God's green, beautiful, flat earth... That's a line from uh, my virtual escape uh, that I actually tested negative. Oh, how was I exposed to COVID and potentially almost got it? Well, you're about to find out here on Storytime with Swift. You see, some things in life will happen months in advance before they actually can occur. Well, as you guys all know, months ago, I got kicked out of my parents' house, so I was basically living in my car, trying to find places to stay, and I ended up finding a place called the Rigid House. The thing about when I got kicked out of my parents' house was this. I'm not allowed to sleep here, but I could come back here to get work done. So, I've been doing that. I've been using the Rigid House as a place to sleep while building my future bedroom there, and then coming back to my parents' house to get some work done when I really needed my whole entire desk set up, which I have yet to brought over to that house. So every week I'd actually travel back to my parents' house, come here, get some work done on my editing station, and then go back to the Rigid House to sleep. For example, I edit for McJugger Nugget's second channel, the Jesse Tyler Ridgeway channel, which is an awesome finance channel, so if you want to go check that out, I highly suggest it because you could learn a lot. And honestly, I've learned a lot as well. So in between those trips coming back and forth, I actually ended up getting exposed to COVID from my mom and my brother. My mom and I might argue, we might have our moments here and there, but at the end of the day, she's my mom and I still love her. And you know, when I, I found out they had COVID and I got told, yo, you're exposed, you actually have to just stay here, quarantine just in case, uh, which, you know, I've been staying up here, thankfully. Um, you know, I, I kind of felt this, like, this thing in me where I just, I was kind of upset, you know, because I, at the end of the day, when we have our moments and we fight and we argue, I still love my mom, you know, and the first few days of her having COVID, it was honestly rough watching that, and, you know, some things started going through my mind because we recently lost some people that we know due to COVID, and a lot of people have passed away, and 
the first few 48 hours, that was that was honestly probably the scariest because my mom had no energy and she was just really laid up in bed and it was genuinely scary. I remember talking to Jesse and I was telling him, I was like, dude, I'm legit scared and you know, he was telling me it's okay to be scared, it's okay for that because you know, this is somewhat a scary thing going on and at the end of the day, you know, all you could do is pray and hope for the best and you know, she ended up uh, losing her taste. She had a bad cough, fever. My brother lost his taste and had a cough or whatever. But it was it was a tough 48 hours just sitting there watching my mom go through this. During all this, there was really one thing that came to my mind and it was that I wanted to make peace with my mom. And it's something I think we're gonna do, especially when she gets better. Um, and she is getting better and same with my brother every single day that passes. So I've been kind of just waiting to make a video talking about this, but like, you know, from those first 48 hours, I started like thinking like, yo, I don't want to lose another parent again, you know? Cause like, as you guys know, I've already lost my dad and that was 16 years ago. And you know, I'm only 24, going to be 25. And I don't want to have to bury another parent, let alone uh, even like, thank God my stepdad didn't get it. But like, I, I just, I can't go through that kind of pain again, not for at least a long time, because like at the end of the day, I love my mom, even though we fight, we argue. I think literally the best thing to do is just have bygones be bygones and just move forward. I know we're not 100% out of the woods just yet, but I do just hope my mom makes full recovery, which I think she will. I'm very positive she will, and the same with my brother. So really all we can do right now is just continue taking it day by day, count our blessings, and just enjoy the fact that we get to be here on this planet and you know we get to live we get to have a life and we get to experience things you know guys you all honestly mean the world to me and i'm very thankful to have you part of my life and have you all be a part as a support system for me you know and i don't want to end this vlog off on a sad note which is actually why i'm gonna facetime somebody and ask them if we should do something for someone else Yo, Brew. Ah, Swift on his camera, what's up, dude? Yo, Nick literally said the same thing, like, last week when I told him about something, but, hey, quick thing, I want to give somebody a shout-out, and I think they really deserve it. What's your thoughts? Is it who I think it is? Yeah. Streaming and all that? It's been a long time coming, man. Honestly, I support it wholeheartedly. Nobody deserves it more. I, dude, 100% agree. I mean... He's been killing it on TikTok, he's been killing it on Twitch, and I figured I'd just be like, yo, I, I want to do this, what's your thoughts? So, okay, Swift. I'm glad that you're on board with rip. it. So, alright, bro, well, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm busy doing things. What are you doing? It's all good, man. Why is your shirt off? <laughs> I don't want to know! I, uh, no, 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 no! So, Yegs TV. Uh, I've known him for a while now, I've known him for a few years, and we actually made some beef for fun back on VidMe back in the day. I just want to say that I'm proud of you, man. You've been killing it on Twitch, and I remember last March when you started streaming, and you were, you, I were like averaging 10 to 20 viewers. I remember like, yo, bro, keep it up. Uh, enjoy your streams, they're very entertaining. I can see this being a thing one day. And then, you know, Jesse would lift him up and be like, yo, bro, keep at this. I remember early in the summer when I was living at Jesse's house, I called Yeggs. And uh, Jesse hopped on the phone with me as well. We're like, dude, you got to keep doing this. Like, he was having really great back-to-back -back months. And we basically kept telling him, like, yo, dude, keep doing this, keep doing this. And I've called him numerous times myself as well just to talk to him. You know, to kind of see how he's feeling about streaming and how everything's going for him. And through those phone calls, I could tell that he has such a passion for streaming and that he absolutely loves the community that he's been building. I remember on some of those phone calls, I told him, I was like, yo, dude, I'm blowing up on TikTok right now. You should too. Do whatever you can to promote your stream on TikTok. Like, I'm gaining subscribers right now because of TikTok. Like, use this, try promoting your stream, do whatever. And he had a couple of videos that completely flopped. And, you know, he was asking me, is it even worth his time? I was like, bro, videos are going to flop no matter how hard you try. Just keep trying and then eventually one will pop. And what did you know? He gets a viral video. After that, he keeps getting viral videos uh, to where he grew over 150,000 followers as of now on TikTok. And he's taken that 
and he's brought that over to Twitch where he's just been grinding a few times a week, just streaming and entertaining people. And honestly, I am very happy for him because he is about to get Twitch partnered. So what I'm honestly trying to say right here is that anything is possible as long as you put the work in and you try and you know, you, you make the time and effort dedicated towards the things that you want to be successful with. And I, I think Yeggs is a perfect example of that. And you know, he's worked so hard in the last year and it's finally paying off for him. And the fact that he's about to be a Twitch partner is amazing. So guys, if you could do me a favor, there's a link down below in the video description that will take you to Yeggs' Twitch channel. If you go there and you follow him, just, just do that. I would honestly appreciate that. And then check out his next stream and just be like, hey, Swift sent me from his latest video. It would mean the world to me and I know it actually would really mean the world to him. And just go give him some support because he is the definition of if you put your mind to it, it can happen. And uh, Yeggs, I just want to say man, as a friend and as a fellow content creator man, I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Early congrats because I know it's going to happen on you being partnered by Twitch. And uh, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. Go. Go follow Yeggs on Twitch, all right? And I'm going to post Twitter down below there as well. Give him a follow on Twitter as well. And until next time, it's been your boy Jeff. Keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. You can do anything you put your mind to. I just butchered my outro because I haven't done this in a while. But guys, I love you. I'll catch you next time. Peace.